future looks good for the, for the dairy sector because uh, what I think is that if you're in the agri-food business, you're in the health business. And diet and health is inextricably linked. And when you have a good, wholesome, nutritious product, you're in a good position. Often people are doctors and nurses are called the health professionals, but in fact, they're the sickness professionals. So those in the food industry are the health professionals. Uh, there are challenges for the dairy sector. One is for a sustainable industry, we need the farmers to be getting a fair share of margin. So I often say we fair co trade coffee and we fair trade bananas. Could we have fair trade milk? Uh, there are issues that we need to be uh, cognizant of and they are food safety, animal welfare, health and nutrition and the environmental impact of, of the sector. So we have to watch those four carefully because we can't afford any adverse publicity. Life stage nutrition is a huge issue uh, in that different ages in the population have different nutrient requirements. And so the dairy industry needs to focus on pro providing the exact nutrients for the different age groups. And so, for example, the only time that we get exactly what we need is when we're infants, we get breast milk or infant formula. After that, uh, everyone is offered the same uh, menu, whereas the demands of a growing child or a hyperactive teenager going through uh, puberty or a sedentary adult is very different. And uh, we've made phenomenal progress with uh, infant formula and sports nutrition. And there's a wonderful opportunity for the sector with uh, nutrition in the elderly. Because as you get older, a natural phenomenon is that you lose muscle mass. It's a condition called sarcopenia. And that's why your grandparents or your parents get frail. Now, if you could slow down this muscle mass, you'd actually slow down the aging process. So imagine having a product that could slow down the aging process. Old people, they need bioavailable protein. So they're not able to eat a T-bone steak every day because they haven't got the digestive system to handle it or the teeth to chew it. But we have products like that we are currently using in the sports nutrition industry to build muscle that are very bioavailable, for example, whey. And so uh, to incorporate some of these products into products for the elderly will slow down the aging process and we can take on the cosmetics industry. And so the saying is that 60 is the new 30. So everything that you could do at 30 should be able to do at 60 and 90 will be the new 60. And so basically my big key message for the sector was that they're not in the milk production business. They're not in the cow milking business. Uh, dairy farmers and the dairy processors, they're in the human health business.